In the last video, we saw how our cells are all born from a common ancestor in the bone marrow. And we learned that these stem cells divide into three different types of cells. Now let's take a closer look at how these cells divide and multiply and mature and what the different functions are for the family tree. First, the hemiotopietic stem cell creates three types of cells. We know that it creates another stem cell so that it keeps the process of regeneration going over and over again. And it also creates two branches of the family tree that will continue to differentiate and mature into a vast number of different types of functioning blood and immune system cells. The two progenitor cells form two primary branches of the blood and immune system family tree. The first of the progenitor cells is the myeloid stem cell, which matures and differentiates into blood cells as well as platelets, which are fragments of cells. And thirdly, white blood cells, also known as leukocytes. The second progenitor cell is a lymphoid stem cell, which continues to mature and differentiate into many forms of white blood cells, also known as leukocytes. So we can see that leukocytes, white blood cells, are born on both sides of the family tree, from the myeloid stem cell as well as the lymphoid stem cell. Additionally, you'll want to note that red cells are technically known as erythrocytes, and platelets are known as thrombocytes. In the coming videos, we'll see how each of these specific cell types function, and we'll see the roles they play and how they work together in both the cardiovascular system as well as the lymphoid system.